Headphones, what you listening to? Hey, thanks for stopping by. I was getting bored in here. I'm really me stuck in this ATM. You're kidding, right? HQ to Corns, HQ Balls, H Cupids, H Cuba Libres, H Universal Life Church Ministers, H University Students, H Cubist Painters, all you H Cutie Patooties with your intra H Cuterin devices. Welcome to your Sunday night edition of HQ the Live Mobile Game Show. Where are you? Answer. Cash. Yes, and you. Now they have a winless streak. All my Cleveland, Pittsburgh fans, I hope you washed the taste of your sister's kiss out of your mouth. Hope you're ready to win. No ties tonight, baby. I am the master of quizaster, your host with a cinnamon toast crunch. HQ Manchu, host face killer, Ray Quiz the chef, repping the HQ Tank Clan, Quizzy McGuire, the Quizard of Waverly Place, Scott Roshkowski, live from the greatest city on earth, the city that never sleeps, Henry Villain and Stumble in the game right at this very momento, including DZK212, Ben Fowlin, Bubble Girl and her wee man celebrating a 12 year anniversary. Congrats. Happy birthdays to Big Ted from Small Frank, Karen Solomonson, Kara Quillinen, Michelle Rye, and Patrick's niece, Lucy, turning 11. Uncle Pat helped create all this that you're seeing right now. He's a good man. It is also Adam Sandler's birthday. <laughs> Adam. Billy, Billy Madison, happy Gilmore, big, big daddy, little Scuba, Scuba Steve, don't mess with us all here. Oh, he, oh, he's turning 52. Oh, he's 52. And Colonel Sanders, yes, Colonel Sanders, he was a real guy. He would have been 128 years old today had he went a little easier with that fried chicken. Like the Colonel's secret recipe, I. mixed my own herbs and spices. 
your share of our cash jackpot. 5,000 Deshaun Jacksons, 25,000 Dante Pettises, $25,000. With that kind of money, you can help Serena Williams pay off her US Open fines. Yeah, she's 17K in the hole. Check out her GoFundMe. And did you think you saw me uh, at, your, at your local Chase Bank? You saw a little pre-roll there? You're not going crazy. Find out why I'm hiding in a Chase ATM at chase.com slash Scott. And if you want to find out why I'm going to be in Philly next Saturday night, go to scottrogowski.com. Quiz with me live. Come on with Scott now. Hop on, Rogowski. Grab onto my waist. Take a ride with me, please. I've got the time if you've got the inclination. So what do you say we get down to the nitty gritty? You got your extra life ready for tonight? What do you say we get the show on the road? Have you swiped away the chat? What do you say I serve up Cumero, Numero, Uno? Which of these places has the nickname City of Lights, Central New Jersey, Paris, or Eastern Eurasia? City of tiny lights, tiny people, la vie lumière, the city of lights. The jury's still out on whether the English translation is a city of light or lights, but either way, it's Paris. That's the city we're talking about. Ooh la la, Paris, that movable feast, 537,621 in feast mode tonight. Allons-y, bienvenue à question de... What artist wrote the song Born in the USA? Bruce Willis, Bruce Springsteen, or Bruce Lee? Bruce. Bruce Willis does have a respectable set of pipes on him. Did somebody say the return of Bruno? But he was born in Germany. And Bruce Lee was born in the US, but he was a martial artist. Bruce Springsteen, the boss, is the American son who wrote this American Anthem, 520,512 are born to run to Q3. But before we get there, it is fashion week here in New York City. Ooh la la, everyone is, is dressed to the nines and we're doing a fashion trivia night this Thursday in honor. Stacey London from What Not To Wear will be here telling me what not to To wear and telling to win. Q, which of these primates typically has a tail? Gorilla, monkey, or chimpanzee? Gorillas, like humans, are apes. We're apes, baby. I'd even venture to say great apes. Yeah, we're pretty great. And apes don't have tails, unless you're dealing with a Barbary macaque, and I have people on the Rock of Gibraltar. Our monkey friends are the ones typically equipped with tails. 462,590 going west with Fival on this American tail to Q4. Which of these countries is not part of the UK? England, Scotland, or Republic of Ireland? It is a United Kingdom of four countries, all right? Get this straight for once and for all. England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland split between two main islands of Great Britain and the island of Ireland. But the Republic of Ireland, while it makes up five-sixths of the landmass on the island of Ireland, it's its own state. It's its own sovereign state. Not part of the Yes, the Republic of Ireland. Do not pledge fealty to the Queen. They bow to Conor McGregor. We're going to Q5. Which of these major U.S. sports leagues awards a championship trophy not named for a particular person? MLB, NFL, or NBA? When a football team wins the Super Bowl, those newly crowned NFL champs are awarded a kiss from Papa John and the Lombardi Trophy, named after legendary coach Vince Lombardi. When a basketball team wins the NBA championship, they get their mitts around the Larry O'Brien Trophy, named after former commissioner Larry O'Brien. Those were particular people, real people. But Major League Baseball, MLB, they simply have the Commissioner's Trophy. There's no name on that trophy. It's just the commish. 161,800. 183 ruling over this quiz tonight, like Judge Kennesaw Mountain Landis at Q6. What country is known to the people who live there as Xiangao, Mongolia, Cambodia, or China? Xiangao. Whoa. Oh, boy. I think I botched this one, folks. The name literally translates to central state and gave rise to the English nickname, the Middle Kingdom. They really were in the center of everything there, surrounded by natural borders on all sides. We officially call it today the People's Republic of China. Talk about China. Oh, Mylanta. Oh, boy. Oh, Berto. Oh, the HQ Manatee. We have a savage question at Q6 tonight. Ouchie, wowie, 
losing 140,000 of you on a single question down to 40,683. Talking about China Grove, China Grove. Now we're talking about Q7. What comedian famously claimed that he was born at a very early age? Hannibal Burris, Steve Martin, or Groucho Marx? Mm, down to just 40,000 after over a half a million started the game tonight. Old Julius has many pithy quotes misattributed to him, but this one is straight out of his autobiography. 1959's Groucho and Me, which is my pick to click for 2019. Yes, yeah, 60 years later, this is going to be a bestseller. 27,228. Well, that's big of you too. The rest of you, I guess you don't want to belong to any quiz that would accept you as a contestant. Q8, the current pope named himself after what? Saint, shepherd, or prior pope? Groucho and Me, a great book. Groucho Marx, a great and funny man. My favorite game show host ever. Yes, a little fun fact about me. He was the first pope born in the Americas. And when Jorge Mario Bergoglio got the call from the bullpen in 2013, he may have felt some pressure to fit in with the home office because he picked Francis for his papal name after the patron saint of Italy. Mamma mia, that's a spicy pope ball. 16,017 hopping in the Pope Mobile with Papa Franks to Q9. Which of these music acts released an album before the 1970s. Though now mostly associated with the 70s and 80s, this artist put out a few early releases in this. His hit single Space Oddity was released a few days before the moon landing in 1969. Ground control to David Bowie. Bowie's in space. Yes, Bowie's your answer here. 8,194. Feeling that gravitational pull to Q10. In what Canadian province does Anne of Green Gables take place? Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, or New Brunswick? We are rewarding those summer readers here with this question. Did you read this book? It's a classic. The farm town setting for this 1908 great Canadian novel was the fictional Avonlea, but the province which author Lucy Maud Montgomery chose to place Avonlea was the very much real, if fanciful sounding, Prince Edward Island. left in this game. By the way, there are more people in HQ right now than live on the entire province of Prince Edward Place. We got more people in the quiz right now than on PEI. We are crossing the Confederation Bridge to Q11. Which of these words is considered an insult? Snollygoster, slumgullion, or sexagismal? Ugh, I don't like the sound of that. I'll take swords for 400. No, these are S words. S words. These are words that all begin with S, all fun words, but only one is a fighting word. Sexagismal? Well, that means relating to the number 60. Like Babe Ruth's home run totals in 1927, that was a sexagismal effort. Slumgullion? That is a meat stew. Or what we have here on Wednesdays at HQ for lunch. But a snollygoster, that is an unprincipled person, usually an insult directed at politicians, Go figure, 2,853 slip sliding away to use some more S words to Q12. Not the final round tonight, Q12. Two different actors won Oscars for playing the same character with what first name? Robert, Vito, or Michael? May I remind you, $25,000 is at stake. It's question 12, then 13, 14, 15, and you're done. And you make the money. And then you go to sleep and then you start the week and you make more money working. If you know movies, you should know the Godfather trilogy, or should I say thrillogy? Because they're kind of thrilling. Or should I say killogy? Because people are killed. Maybe I'll just stick to trilogy. The first movie had Marlon Brando playing the titular Godfather. Part two saw Bobby D take on the younger version of Don Corleone. Both won Oscars for Vito. Vito Corleone. Vito is your answer here. 1,433 leaving the gun, taking the cannoli to Q13. Which of these is the name of a superhero in both DC Comics and Marvel? Nightwing, Captain Marvel, or Daredevil? And then there were 1,433 after a half a million of you began this journey with me. Lost a lot of good folks out there tonight. Thank you for your service. There actually is another Daredevil besides the Marvel Ben Afflected version. 
but it was created by a third party publisher, not DC. The story behind Captain Marvel is marvelous. It started as a Fawcett Comics character. DC sued, Fawcett stopped doing it. Marvel trademarked the name, DC bought the rights to Fawcett, but they had to change their Captain Marvel to Shazam. I'm not changing anything about the 1,195 of you who got this one right. Marvelous, you're looking marvelous for Q14, the penultimate question tonight. Which of these classic Hitchcock movies is not adapted from an existing novel? North by Northwest, Vertigo, or Psycho? Hmm. novel, Don't Hung the Dead. But North by Northwest was an original story purchased from a journalist written by Ernest Lehman for the screen. 622 of you know your Hitchcock? You know your North by Northwest? Do you know your Q15? That's all that matters now. The final question tonight, it all boils down to this for $25,000. We are scurrying across Mount Rushmore. We are being chased by a crop duster. And we're landing here at Q15. Which of these historical periods occurred most recently? The Roman Republic, the Roman Empire, or the Roman Kingdom? Just 622 of you, remaining 1,244 eyes, staring, wondering what's gonna happen here. $25,000 at stake, over 100,000 watching as well. They're not even in the game anymore, folks. They're just watching for the thrill of it all. The ancient Roman kingdom began roughly 750 BC and was overthrown and replaced by a voting republic in 509 BC, although only landowners could vote, of course. That lasted until a politician Splitting 25K, that's about uh, 50 bucks. Yeah, 50 50 for some of you, 50 51 for some others of you. Not too shabby, a Ulysses S. Grant to your name on this Sunday night. Congrats to Steven Vizo, Greg, Amanda One, TSM Leffen, Elbeg, Geo 101, Cell, a little SpongeBob there, Dumpy Bunny, Dummy Bunny, not so dumb tonight, Dummy Bunny. You're winning money, Bunny. You're a money bunny now. All of you, well, all 495 of you are big winners. Congratulations, you have slayed the HQ Dragon. That's the show for tonight, folks. Thanks for hanging and banging with me. Please exit through the side doors. Don't forget to tip your weight step and don't forget to come back tomorrow night, 9 p.m. It's Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. We're giving out $5,779 and we got Dr. Oz here. Yeah, Dr. Oz, is he Jewish? I don't think so, but come on and hang with me and Dr. Oz on the Jewish New Year. Hey, did you catch HQ Sports kicking off the NFL season earlier today at noon? No? Well, fear not. The great Gambino is running it back like Tyreek Cheetah Hill with HQ Sports tomorrow at 7 p.m. That's right. HQ Sports tomorrow. Fashion night Thursday. Until you and I meet again, I shall... Re Good night. Good luck. Don't... Just go to bed.